So uh, my name is Nico Kaintansis. I work with Zülke since 15 years, I think. With SAFE, I started with SAFE 2.5 many, many years ago. And now I'm, a, I'm an SPCT candidate. And I hope I will be SPCT this year. So I'm working for that. I think one challenge is uh, to check the key message. So you have a two days uh, PI planning and the first half of the day of the standard agenda is uh, many talks. So check what the management or the executives uh, want to say to the people. It has to be something motivated. So um, for instance, you need an executive that knows the customer, that knows the business, that can inspire you uh, or the people, not only you. The, the whole train about the future, to give a motivation, what is coming. So check the message as an RTE or an SPC, check the right message there. Another important thing, in my uh, opinion, is uh, you have all the people with you for two days. So maybe they traveled from uh, some locations uh, to you there. So take the chance between day one and day two to make a social. So maybe a fox trail um, or maybe go bowling. So take the chance, chance that the people can talk to each other. You can also make just only party, but uh, remember there's a day too. <laughs> Don't party until uh, uh, in the morning, but to do a social to connect the people uh, so that they get to, know, get to know each other better. One thing that I think is important, the first half day in the PI planning, we have a lot of talks. And my experience in Europe, mainly Switzerland, Austria, where I've done, uh, done a lot of things, a lot of safe, is uh, that the people lose the energy in the first half day. And the other thing is people travel to this location. So you can start at eight o'clock. Usually I start around nine o'clock, uh, half past nine, also happened once. So you start later and try to make these talks shorter because the people are full of energy and they wanna start. So in my case or in the cases uh, I've been coach or I've been lead there, I care that the, the team breakouts start before the lunch, so that people can go to doing and not only hear and listen and, and lose the energy level. Uh, this could be a culture thing, in some cultures okay, uh, because you are in a big stage and yeah, chaka, and you do a, a lot of uh, energy things. <laughs> in Switzerland, to be honest, uh, people just listen and wait until the time is over, so take care that the energy is high and in my experience, make some shorts, uh, some talks shorter and start with the breakouts before lunch. That's my big tip. The preparation of stories. So you go to a PI and the input usually are features. And sometimes you have some stories because you have reviewed them as a team and you have an idea of stories. And now the question is, how well prepared do you go to PI planning? So do you go without stories and roughly know the features or you go with all the stories. So you have no stories or too much stories. I've never seen the perfect amount of stories or an amount of uh, detail level. And for my opinion, I think, especially for, uh, for Europe, I think start with less preparation. Because for instance, in Switzerland, when you over prepare, you lose days. And then you go in a PI planning, over prepared, and then at the end, the feedback is, oh, do the two days are too much. Of course they are too much, because you prepared three days for that. So start with less preparation, and you get much more learning and less waste. So that's uh, also one of my uh, uh, advices. And something that is not in safe, um, you have a lot of features. And the teams start getting the features and going uh, to the tables, work there, and hang them on the, on the, on the program board. But sometimes you lose, lose the overview. So which team has which feature? And uh, uh, is this feature taken or not? Uh, what many of my teams started uh, to do themselves is uh, having a board where all the features are there. You can take it and when you take the features beneath, there's a copy of the feature where you can write the name of the team. So I always have one big wall. You can go there and you see, okay, which one is taken and which not. It's also cool uh, for the program level because uh, you see now the progress. So if each team takes only one feature, you see uh, beneath uh, it's taken, it's taken, and so the wall should always go from nothing taken to taken. And so at the end of day one, you see around where, uh, where you are. 
that's something not in safe, but I think it could be something uh, you can try.